Hello everyone! Welcome to the channel ESL Games and Teaching Tips with Jenny White. Today we're going to discuss five don'ts, five killers of any online lesson for kids and talk about the remedies we can use to put life into it. Tell me in the comments what age groups you teach online and what problems you have. Dr. Jenny? will help you. And if you are new here, don't forget to say hello Jenny in the comments and write where you are from. Welcome my friends, we begin. Small kids can't interact a lot with one another online. That is why the most important person for them during the lesson is you. Let's look at five U's and how they can become your lesson killers. Last time we spoke about killer number one, too big U, and how negatively it can affect the teaching process. If you haven't seen the video yet, check it out after watching this one. You will learn about alternative solutions for the warming up stage, for presenting and practicing material, and for short lesson breaks. If you want to know more about engaging activities for kindergarten and primary school kids, then check the link in the description box. You can find my books. So this was you number one, killer number one, too big you. Stay with us to learn about killer number two and how bad guy Robert and Wow Glasses can help you. And don't forget to like the video. Number two is the same you. Yes, body language is very important, but don't forget about your appearance, about your face, and about your voice. As you know, small kids have very short attention span and they need to do, to see and to listen to something different every five minutes. So, you can use headdresses to introduce new characters in absolutely no time at all. You can turn into a doctor to practice body parts. Ah, uh, where are your eyes? Put your fingers on your eyes. Eyes, eyes. Are your eyes okay? Good. And your nose? Put your finger on your nose. Nose. Is your nose okay? Good. Now your ears. You can turn into a queen to practice numbers. I am the queen. I'm very rich. Do you have a ball? Do you have a ball? Yes? I have balls. How many? Yeah, ten balls. Right. I'm the queen. I'm rich. You can turn into a fairy to revise vocabulary and make your students stand up and move a little bit. So, one, two, three, turn into a tree. And sometimes you can turn into a bad guy, very wicked and terrible, to make your students unite and fight you doing the tasks you want them to do. Ha 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 ha! Jenny, Jenny, no more Jenny! John! He's your teacher now. I'm very bad. Do you want Jenny back? Hmm. Okay. Then answer my questions. Question number one. Are you ready? <laughs> and the best thing about it that you yourself will have a lot of fun and it's not so difficult to transform yourself into different characters. You can use WOW glasses to help your students understand if their answer is right or wrong. How many fingers? Two. <laughs> no. Oh, yes, yes, three. You are right. Well done. Very good. 
You can also change your voice, speaking like a robot, or speaking in a very funny and thin voice. Or you can share your secrets and whisper. And sometimes, for the most important moments of the lesson, you can even use a microphone. And now, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and Tom and Jesse, everyone, it's time for a surprise. So this was you number two, the same you. Remember, the more roles you can play, the better. And what do you think is killer number three? Look at this picture and share your ideas in the comments. <sighs> Remember, my friends, anything I do here on this channel, I do it for you. I love you. Take care. See you.